Are we heading toward a recession? I'm going to discuss this in just a moment. My name is Karen Jackson. I am a residential real estate agent in the greater Seattle area. If you have questions regarding real estate, the market, or the community, feel free to call or text me. People reach out to me all the time and I would love to talk to you. So I just watched this video by a guy named Barry Habib. He's super smart. If you have not heard of him, check him out. I want to share with you what I learned from him. There are some very important indicators for a recession. The first one being high debt levels. Our debt levels are through the roof, so we can check that one. Another indicator is an oil spike. We definitely are seeing that. Check. A third indicator is when our unemployment rates reach a low and then they start to tick up again. When business is good, hiring increases, which makes our unemployment rate low. As prices start to increase and businesses start to slow, they lay people off. Those people then change their spending habits and don't spend as much money. It's a trickle down effect where other businesses start to slow and then they start to lay off. So we start to see that unemployment rate rise. Right now we are at a low level of unemployment. And the fourth indicator is when there's a spread between treasuries. This is when the short-term bonds have a higher yield than the long-term bonds. This typically happens when the Fed raises short-term yields to curb inflation. And we see that happening now. So according to all of these indicators, it seems a recession is likely to happen in the near future. Just how deep of a recession it will be, that's the question. I am a real estate agent in the greater Seattle area. If I can answer any questions for you regarding our economy, our market, our houses, or our community, please feel free to reach out. Be sure to watch one of my next videos to learn a little bit more.